Hi everyone, let's work on 6.5 homework radians. The first uh, group of questions is asking us to find the radian measure of the angle that is given here. So in order to change the radian, we know that all we need to do is multiply this angle by pi over 180. We are not gonna use our calculator directly here, we need to simplify step by step. That means we need to see what is the number that 72 and 180 both are dividable by that. So we know that um, 72 can be divided by nine and it's equal to eight. So this divide by nine is eight. 180 also could be divided by nine and it's equal to 20. Can we still? Simplify 8 and 20. Is there anything that they both can be divided? Yes, 8 could be divided by 4 and it's equal to 2. And 20 could be divided by 4, it's equal to 5. So what is left? There is a 2 left here on top and a 5 in the bottom. So this, and we cannot simplify this anymore. So you can write the angle measure in radian as 2 pi over next problem is asking us to change from radian to degree so this time we're going to use this formula multiply by 180 over pi at the first step the first thing that is going to be cancelled is pi from top and the bottom now you can go ahead and directly use your calculator what is Basically, this is what I'm going to find. What is 7 times 180 divided by 6? And I'm going to use my calculator. 7 times 180 divided by 6. Is equal to 210 degrees. So this is equal to 210 degrees. If you have a negative angle, don't forget, we're gonna do the same thing, but don't forget about uh, the negative and make sure you add that at the end. Okay, next question is asking us to find two positive and two negative coterminals for the given angles. Okay, so let's start. In order to find a positive coterminal, we know that if we have an angle in radian, um, to find any coterminal, you need to add plus, add or subtract multiples of 2 pi. So here, I'm going to start by adding 1 2 pi to my angle. Now, what is the answer? How do I add these two? Since there is a fraction, I'm going to add the denominator of 1 here, and then I need to have the same denominator, find the common denominator between two fractions. Between 4 and 1, the common denominator is 4. So you're going to multiply top and the bottom by 4. So this is going to be 3 pi over 4 plus 2 times 4 is 8 pi over one times four is four. Now the fractions both have the same denominator, so you can keep one denominator and add the numerators. Three plus eight is 11 pi over four. So this is one positive angle. Next time, I'm gonna find the second positive angle. So this time I need to add maybe two times two pi to my function, which is 4 pi. So you see we're adding multiples of 2 pi. So this is 3 pi over 4 plus 4 pi. The same way, we're going to have a denominator of 1 and find the common denominator by multiplying by 4. So this is 3 pi over 4 plus 16 pi over 4. That's going to be 19 pi over four. So we have two positive coterminals. Now, how do I find the negative ones? Probably by subtracting two pi. So this time, 
3 pi over 4 minus 2 pi. We're going to do the same thing. Add a denominator of 1 and find the common denominator by multiplying by 4. So this is 3 pi over 4 minus 8 pi over 4, which is negative pi over 4. And to find the next negative coterminal, 3 pi over 4 minus 2 times 2 pi, like you're subtracting 2 times 2 pi from the angle, which is 4 pi. Again, add a denominator of 1, multiply by 4, top and the bottom by 4, and this will be 3 pi over 4 minus 16 pi over 4, which is negative 13 pi over 4. So we have two negatives and two positives. Our next question is asking us to find an angle between 0 and 2 pi, which is coterminal with the angle. So we need to find a coterminal, but it should be something between 0 and 2 pi. Let's try number 13. So first of all, the first thing that comes to my mind is 87 pi. I can subtract 2 pi from that or add 2 pi. If I add 2 pi, that's going to be 89 pi, which is not between 0 and 2 pi. So this is not what I need. What if I subtract 87 pi minus 2 pi? That's going to be 85 pi. Well, it's less than what I had before, but still it's not between 0 and 2 pi. That means I need to uh, subtract several 2 pi's from 87 pi to get something which is between 0 and 2 pi. How many 2 pi should I subtract? Well, what if I do this? 87 pi minus 43 times 2 pi. So that's going to be 87 pi minus 43 times 2 is 86 pi. And that's equal to 87 minus 86 is 1 pi. And as you see, this is something between 0 and 2 pi. So we're still using the same formula, but you need to figure out how many 2 pi's you need to subtract. And in this problem, we are trying to fill in the unit circle using radian measure of all these angles. Well, one way could be change each of these angles to radian by multiplying by pi over 180. But another way, which is more reasonable and uh, easier, basically, is to figure out how our, ang our, how our circle is divided into pieces. First of all, we know 0 is here. There's no doubt about 0. And 180, we know, is pi. So how is this half of the circle divided? 90 is half of this half circle. So if half of the circle is pi, half of that is going to be pi over 2. So one quarter is pi over 2. Then we have 2 pi over 2s, which is pi. Then we have 3 pi over 2s. This is 3 quarters, basically. And then here we have 4 pi over 2, which is 2 pi. So I don't have to write 4 pi over 2. I'm just going to write 2 pi. So this is one part of the unit circle. Now. 30, we know it's 1 6 of 180. That means pi divided by 6. And this is 60. That's 2 times pi over 6. This is 2 times pi over 6. You can simplify that. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So this is pi over 3. Now, 45 is basically 180 divided by 4. So this could be pi over 4. OK, 180, I'm sorry, 120 is basically 1, 2, 3, 4 of 30s. Basically, 4 times pi over 6. 4 times pi over 6. If you simplify, 4 divided by 2 is 2, and 6 divided by 2 is 3. This one is 1, 2, 
345. So that's 3 times pi over 4. And so on. You can figure out all the others. Like 150 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times pi over 6. So you need to consider how many pi over 6 we have for each of these angles. Or for these middle ones, how many pi over 4 do we have? and figure out what is going on for the other angles. Thank you and have a great day.